What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your X-Bar32 ATV slash UTV soundbar. So as you can see, it comes with the soundbar itself with all of the wires here to power your soundbar attached as well as some auxiliary inputs. We also got the mounting hardware to mount your soundbar onto your ATV or UTV. We also got an aux cable here to use with your aux input. And we have a wiring kit to install the soundbar into your ATV, UTV, boat, etc. So to start mounting the soundbar onto our truss for today, we're gonna be needing the two clamp bases here. Now you'll see we actually have the option to run these either on the top or the bottom of our soundbar, depending on how we want it mounted. For today, we're gonna place these on top of the speaker so that we can mount it to the bottom of our bar, but you can follow similar steps and run these on the bottom of your speaker so that we can place it on the top of the bar. So we're gonna start by taking both base clamps here and running the grooves of each clamp through the grooves here in the middle of the bar. Now from here, we can line up the holes of the base clamps to any of these holes here on our bar. This all depends on how we want to mount the speaker onto our bar. So for today, we're gonna line them up to the holes in the middle of each side. So now to secure these onto our bar, we're gonna take our smallest screws here and our split lock washers on each washer through each screw and run these through the holes of the clamp bases and the speaker. To lock these in place, we can take a five by 32 Allen key and use it to tighten the screws. Now we also have these rubber pads here that come in different shapes and sizes. So we can take the square pieces here and remove the adhesive on the back, stick them onto the top of the clamp bases, and this is gonna help keep the speaker from sliding around on our bar. So from here, we can line the speaker onto our bar, but first let's talk about these clamp rings here. We actually have two different sizes of these, so we have the bigger rings and the smaller rings, depending on how thick the bar we're mounting to is. And we also have these long rubber pads here in case we need to meet in the middle. So when we're ready to mount the speaker onto our bar, we're just gonna line it up to wherever we want to mount it. Next, we're gonna take four of our rings, make sure they match so that they're the right size for the bar, and then line up two rings for each clamp so that the holes of the bases and the rings are aligned. Now this will allow the speaker to hang onto the bar, but to secure it, we're gonna need the long screws along with the washers and the nuts. So we can take each screw and each washer and line them up together, run them through each of the holes for the rings and the bases. Now we'll take the nuts and run them through the back of the screws so that the front of the nuts are aligned to the groove on the back of the rings. Now these grooves will hold the nuts in place as we're tightening the screws, but you can still press the nut with your finger so that it won't pop out when you're tightening the screw. Also remember you can use the thinner pieces of rubber to further secure the rings onto the bar. So now that we have our speaker all mounted, we're gonna wanna use these wires to power our speaker. So let me quickly explain what each of these wires do. So this yellow wire here is the 12 volt power wire, which runs to the 12 volt terminal of your battery. Then we have the red accessory wire that runs to the ignition of your vehicle and then we have the black ground wire that runs to the ground terminal of your battery or the metal chassis of your vehicle so again to summarize we're going to run the yellow wire to the 12 volt of our battery the accessory wire to the ignition of our vehicle and the black wire to the ground terminal of our battery or the metal chassis of our vehicle since we're not using a vehicle in our setup today, we're gonna run the accessory wire to the 12 volt terminal of our battery. Now, aside from that, we have the blue remote wire that can run to an external amplifier that's powering additional speakers or subwoofers. So as soon as our speaker system powers on, the amplifier will power on as well. We also have the RCA left and right pre outputs if we want to expand our setup even further with powered speakers or subwoofers. And lastly, we have the aux input that we can use with our included aux cable to connect any MP3 devices. So after you've run the power, the speaker should automatically turn on, but just in case it doesn't, you can hold down the power button on top here for three seconds to power on your speaker. So now let's go over all of the controls for the X-Bar32. Like I mentioned, we have the power button on top here to manually turn the speaker on or off. Underneath, we have the pause and play button to pause or play our music. And then we have the source button to switch between Bluetooth mode and aux mode. You'll know you're in Bluetooth mode when the source button is lit up blue. And then you'll know you're in aux mode when it's lit up green. Right in the middle, we have the Rockville logo here. And this is actually gonna switch the LEDs for our speaker. So I can press this button to switch between the colors of red, blue, and purple. And then we can switch from purple to the automatic color cycle mode where it will cycle between these three different colors. 
And after the color cycle mode, we can press it one more time to turn the lights off altogether. Now underneath, we have the plus and minus buttons to control the volume coming out of our speaker. And then we have the previous and next buttons to cycle between our tracks. So of course, because the speaker has Bluetooth compatibility, we can pair any smartphone or tablet to play music. To do that, I'm gonna go into the Bluetooth settings of my smartphone or tablet, search for the device that reads XBAR32, click on it to pair, and then you're gonna hear that sound letting you know your device is connected. So let's hear how it sounds. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your XBAR32 ATV slash UTV soundbar. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.